What it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo, Doc Trey, still holding it down, still make the best games, and you know this, bro, it's the truth. You don't like it, you can have that seat though. So, Unreal Engine 5 was just announced today and shown on a demo, an impressive demo running on the PlayStation 5. But also what's interesting about that is that this engine is designed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, but also current gen systems along with Android and Nintendo Switch. Now, what's very interesting about this is that one of the two new hyped features of the engine may actually benefit the Nintendo Switch the most. So there's a new uh, feature in Unreal Engine 5 called Nanite. Now, according to this, Nanite is a virtualized micro polygon uh, geometry frees artists to create as much geometric detail as the eye can see. Nanite virtualized uh, geometry means that film quality source art comprising of hundreds of millions or billions of polygons can be imported directly to Unreal Engine. Anything from ZBrush sculpts to photo photogrammetry scans to CAD data and it just works. Nanite geometry is streamed and scaled in real time so there is no more polygon count budgets, polygon memory budgets, or draw count budgets. There is no need to bake details to normal maps or manually author LODs and there is no loss in quality. Now, the reason this is a huge deal for Switch is because with these new powerful systems coming out a lot, people were worried that, well, how is the Nintendo Switch gonna get ports of these multi-plats if these new systems are even even more powerful than the Switch than the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One already were. Well, it looks like Epic has got you covered because according to this, with this technology, they're not gonna have to really focus on the polygon uh, crunching power and, uh, and, and all this because they're st strictly gonna make these high poly models and just straight import them into the game without much cost to the horsepower. It's almost as if, as if this feature was like designed almost with the Nintendo Switch in mind. It wasn't, but it almost seems that way. And this is very good news for Nintendo Switch Multiplats going forward, at least in the next couple of years. This is very, this is very good news for that. And it's probably gonna change uh, Nintendo Switch development forever. I can see if this really, if this tech really does what it's, they say it's gonna do, most future games on Switch are probably gonna run on Unreal Engine 5 just because of it. That's very interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Later.